Okay, so for this project, I'll be using this particular yarn that I bought at the Hunger Market. I just don't know what the name is. It's, um, I think, worsted weight yarn. It's thicker than the uh, fingering weight yarn, and you can use a 4 millimeter crochet hook. So with the first sun hat that I have made, I first I have used the aluminum hook, the tulip hook, but then it doesn't glide well with this particular yarn. I don't know why it doesn't glide well. So what I did is I have used the plastic hook. The first one I used is the lighted crochet hook, which glides well with this particular yarn. So since it works well with plastic hooks, so I'm gonna use this four millimeter uh, crochet hook I bought on Shopee and you can use whatever hook you're most comfortable with I'll add on the screen the yarn weight so that it will be easier for you to find a yarn that has the same weight so that you'll get the same size of the project that I have made. So we're gonna start first by making the uh, basic circle, flat circle, and then we're gonna work from round one to I think round 11 but I'm gonna show it to you how many rounds I will make but first we're gonna start with the uh, making the uh, base for this sun hat. chain one and then work six single crochets in the magic ring two three end the round we're going to work a, a on top of the first single crochet made. Next is we're going to work an increase into every stitch so meaning we're gonna work two single crochets into every stitch for a total of 12 single crochets. So we're gonna repeat that until we get to the last stitch. So there should be 12 single crochets in total. Mark a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. Now, to be able to grow this circle, we need to work an increase. So to work an increase, we're going to Add an increase into every second round or into every second stitch around. So meaning I'm gonna start with chaining one. This doesn't count as any stitch. So I'm gonna work my first single crochet. You can add a stitch marker especially if you're using a variegated yarn so it will be easier for you to see the first single crochet that you made for every round because that is where you're gonna work a slip stitch to close each round. So into every second stitch, that is where we're gonna work our two single crochets or the increase. So that's the repeat pattern. This is the sequence. So you're just going to repeat one single crochet in the next, two in the next, and so on, until you get to the last stitch. So by the end of round 3, you should have 18 single crochets in total and then you're going to work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made to end round 3. So from here on, we will work an increase and this time it's going to be into every third. So we're going to chain 1 to start and then into the same stitch, we're going to work 1 single crochet and then one more single crochet in the next and then into every third 
I'm gonna work an increase or two single crochets. So that's what we're gonna do. The sequence will be into every third stitch of this round only. So for round four, it's gonna be on the third. Round five, it's gonna be into every fourth. Round six, it's gonna be into every fifth. So continue doing that sequence and then I'll show you what to do next. So I'm gonna put on the screen how many rounds you should make and then I'll get back and show you the next step after that. So this is what it looks like after finishing round 12 and of course to close the round you're gonna work a slip stitch as always on top of the first single crochet made. So as you can see it's still a flat circle and the next step is we're going to create a dome for this particular part here. So you can see um, you can adjust the length that you want for the depth. So this dome part here is done with first on round 13 we're going to just simply work one single crochet into every stitch. So we're going to gradually add an increase into every second round for three times. But then we have to follow where we did the uh, increase but on round 13 we're simply going to chain one one single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet into every stitch until you get back around all right so once you finished working one single crochet into every stitch to close round 13 we're going to slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made which what we usually do and you can see the traces are joined in here if you don't like that you can just simply work in spiral rounds wherein you're not gonna close into every stitch or into every round but for beginners it might be confusing and you might lose track of counting so this is the best way to do it especially if you're working with variegated yarns now as you can see this base will start to form a dome so the next part is we're going to increase again on round 14 and we're simply going to continue what we did into round 12 where we increased into every 11th stitch all right so we're gonna do an increase into every 12th this time so meaning we're going to work 11 individual single crochets in between increase so we're gonna start with the one two okay so once you have 11 individual single crochets into every 12th stitch that is where we're gonna add our increase by the way I changed my hook this is still four millimeter and then you just keep doing the increase into every 12 stitch around and then close with a slip stitch on top of the very first single crochet you make so that's what we're gonna do on this round okay so once that is done as you can see we did the uh, increase into every 12 stitch and then we're gonna work our slip stitch to finish this round now the next round is we're just going to work one single crochet into every stitch so we will start the chaining one and then one single crochet into the same stitch and then continue working one single crochet in every stitch around so meaning the number of the total number of stitches into the previous round will be the same as this round so if say for example you lost count you can start counting from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So the 15th round is one single crochet into every stitch around. Okay, so for round 16, it's gonna be one single crochet into each of the next 12 stitches. So three, six, nine, 12. And then into every 13th, that is where you're gonna work or increase or do single crochets. And then you're going to repeat the sequence until you finish the round with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. So this is what it looks like and then you're going to close the round with a slip stitch and then the next round will be working one single crochet into every stitch so you keep doing that until you get back around. So on round 18, the increase would be into every 14th stitch around. So meaning, there should be 13 individual single crochets in between increase. So I did 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 rounds. So I repeated round 8 with one single crochet into every stitch around. So I did 12. So now I'm on round 30. So when you get to round 30, it's going to look like this, a dome. And the next step would be <clears throat> we're going to start with working the increase. So chain 1. Two single crochets in the same stitch. So we start with the increase and then one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then we do the increase again. One, two. Next is one single crochet into each of the next seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then work an increase. So that is going to be the sequence of the pattern for round 31. So we start with the increase. One single crochet in each of the next six single crochets. And then we add an increase again. And then one single crochet in each of the next seven this time. So we're going to repeat that pattern around so meaning next is we're gonna work one single crochet into each of the next six increase and then one single crochet into each of the next seven single crochets so that's the sequence and then um like we, what we usually do we close the round by working a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made all right so once you finish that we're gonna work a slip stitch like what we always do. We slip stitch on top of the first single crochet made. Now the next step would be working the uh, rim of this hat. So we do this in order to get this rim. So to make it spread, we're going to work an increase into every second round so that's what we're going to do 
Now, since I don't have enough color for this one, what I'm gonna do next is chain one and then cut off the yarn. So I'm going to change the color and this is what I do so that I'll have the solid color um, much looking much better when I get to the next round. So you can actually start on any in any of the stitches but I would prefer starting into the uh, stitch where I finished off so that the line will just be in one direction. So I'm gonna use the same kind of yarn. So this is also the yarn that I bought at Hunger Market. They sell the uh, yarns unlabeled so I couldn't tell you the exact name of this particular yarn that they're selling. But anyways, um, just use any yarn that is compatible with a 4mm size of crochet hook. That way, you'll be sure that <clears throat> you will end up uh, almost the same size as mine. Alright, so now I'm starting with a zip knot. And then, into the same stitches where I zip stitched on which is the first single crochet there so that is where I'm gonna work my first single crochet Alright, so the increase would be on every 16th stitch of this round only. And then we're gonna finish off the round by slip stitching on top of the first single crochet that we made. And then work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we'll just be working one single crochet into every stitch. So this is what it's looking like after working one single crochet into every stitch around. So into the next round, we're gonna do an individual of 17 single crochets and then to every 18th st stitch, that is where you're gonna add your increase. So we're just gonna follow what we did in, the, in this round where we did the uh, increase. So just count the individual single crochets in between and then add one and then that is the increase that we're gonna have on this round so keep working an increase into every second round so say you have 16 individual single crochets in here 
in the next you have 17 and then one single crochet into every stitch around into the next round and then increase again by working 18 single crochet and then on the 19th that is where you're gonna add your increase so keep doing that until you get the size of the rim that you want so that's quite simple And once you finish that, this is what's going to happen. So I work this slip stitch into each round. So that's for the edging. And then my last round would be one single crochet into every stitch around. I actually made this one longer, but uh, for this one, I might make it a bit shorter. Alright, so this is what it looks like after working a few rounds of the rim so you can make it shorter if you want and it's going to look like this if you work a few more rounds alternating increase and one single crochet into every stitch it will look like the first hat that I made so it will look like this and if you don't like this one you can do this and it's a bucket hat for adults and yeah it's pretty you can add a few flowers on the side and then work a few uh, chains and then work a slip stitch probably work 200 chains and then on the second chain from home work a slip stitch into each chain that will look like this so you can sew it around or you can just place it around. When you make a hat like this, it depends on the yarn that you're using. If you're using a um, soft yarn and your tension is a bit loose, it's going to be airy, it's going to be floppy. But if you're going to use a stiffer one, it's going to get like this. Yes, I think the yarn really works well with this kind of project because it's not quite hot and it's great to wear on a summer day or when you're traveling. 